about right. behavioral change. A man who doesn't want to be violent again, violent against, against women. women first, Errol, first we do, we, we let you talk. We let mm -hmm. you know that we are here to support you. We let you know that anger is nothing to be ashamed about. Mm -hmm. Anger is a, a gift from God. Anger is yours. What goes wrong is when you let somebody else control your anger and you, you look to hit them or you use your anger in a negative way. We, we console them. Right. Right? Then we say, there are things that, that are happening in your life that would cause you to be violent. There, there, there are four things, really. First is the things you believe. Mm -hmm. What is your belief system? You have come up in, a, in, a, in an environment where God is referred to as he, as a father. Although we know God has male and female attributes, mm -hmm. man has took it upon himself to talk about God as he. God is a man. So you're, you elevate yourself immediately to God position. You have no consideration for women within God. So from the time you think that, your vocabulary comes out and that, and when push comes to shove, when you are jammed against a wall, you refer to God the, ma the God the man. Okay. Right? Secondly, we deal at your behavior. Did you learn conflict management? <coughs> Excuse me. Did you, did you have exposure to, to how to control your anger? Is there other things in your life, behavioral wise, that needs to be addressed. How are you in your um, understanding and appreciation of your sexual power? Mm -hmm. Do you feel you must have a woman to have release? Do you know the value of self-control, self-release, mm -hmm. right? Behavior. Then most importantly, what, what are the issues in your life that have brought you to the stage here? Parental issues, community issues, what we call baggage. What are the baggage um, weights that you carry that you carry around okay. that affect your behavior? And finally, it's the, the biological. And the biological deals with not only the psychiatrist, what happens in the brain, the hormone imbalances, whatever that these medical people provide for, but also what the, the, the doctors provide for. Internists, what does high blood pressure do to your stress levels and eventually your behavior to your people? The people call the building biologists. What in your environment? The electromagnetic fields. What in your design, in your layout, that affects how you behave in your home? You put a woman in a kitchen and have no ventilation, and no windows, and she's there for 10 hours for the, or 20 hours for the day. When you come home, you want your food. But she is in a very uncomfortable environment, and she must not show anger and stress. So what happens biologi biologically in your building systems, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and that, those four things are the things we try to understand from a person. Okay. Um, I want to be fast and find out a little bit about what was so damning in, in that article. Um, but we must take a break. When we come back, yeah. we'll find out a bit more about the article that okay, appeared in the women's Monday. magazine and, and then, then moved to the main Monday. paper. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back. What a flu. Yeah, I know what you mean. You don't have the flu? Oh, yes, I do. I did yesterday, but I took Panadol Multi-Symptom. There is nothing better than Panadol Multi-Symptom to get rid of all the symptoms of the worst cold. Take Panadol Multi-Symptom and get on with your day. There's a vitality that flows through our nation. An energy that moves to the distant rhythms of our people. Driving the development of our country, it fuels progress and inspires bright futures. It fosters a spirit of community, nurturing our unique culture. It exists in harmony with the environment. This energy is the driving force of our business, touching the lives and hearts of many. It is what makes us proud to be BP, proud to be part of TNT. BPTT, energy for life beyond petroleum. Looking for floor coverings? Come to Quartz. We have the widest range of rugs in the most attractive designs and sizes. Laminates in 12 finishes, starting at $6.95 per square foot. All the popular colors are available. Cherry, mahogany, and pine. Ceramic tiles, too. All at the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Quartz, adding value every day. I tell you, my friends, welcome back. This is... I just scanning quickly through the paper to see if we see part three of that um, 
article we were just hearing about, or if it is that it, you get your throat bust. <laughs> Forgive the violent um, for, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but tell me what 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 was stated in this article in in, in your words? Well, um, in the first one. Well, we we directed the journalists to the the world of men's work. There are some men websites mm -hmm. that indicate and highlight what is actually happening to men, and wow, that is powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. She was very impressed. She took a lot of information from it. I mean, she, they show the equality between men and women in violent acts, although the fat fatalities, more women are being killed in domestic relationships yeah. than men. But it, there's an equality in, 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 um, in physical violence. Right. She spoke about, she did a lot of quotes from Dr. Moultrie. Mm -hmm. Here's his personal experience, how women react, how they, they look at you when you tell them hi and good morning. They, a lot of it was really you must get that article Errol it really said something that women need to hear and some are very not much not ready to hear it as yet okay and um, so part two of the article went on to do what it, uh, it, it, con it we, we introduced it in part one and then we, it went on to highlight um, the, the headline was men are abused too and it went on to, to say what ways men are abused and why women do it and they shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. it could, could you share with us some of the ways in which men are abused? Well, men are abused um, physically. Mm -hmm. Men are abused um, emotionally through verbal, through the power of the woman's mouth. Men are abused in being denied their role as a father when women use children Okay. To, you know, men are abused when they have not been taught how to be, um, to how to have control of their own sexual power, how to deal with their own food, how to deal with their own care. They have come up in very dependent households, mother being. So when a woman uses those skills to hurt somebody, your clothes are not washed, your food is improperly prepared, you have an abuse. There are women in society. You know, it, it, it's so strange here, and it's because for <laughs> me, you know, these things um, are very basic and elementary, yes. and everybody's supposed to be able to, to bubble their own pot and wash their own food. I mean, wash Close. their own clothes and cook their own food, yeah, you know? Yeah. So to, to hear now that, that this situation, the, the, the inability of a man to do that to take care of himself. Um, puts him in a position where he's a victim of abuse. Oh, it's it really, it almost impossible for me to swallow that. I know, thing. yeah, no, but you see, that's what the, gen that's what the, the act provides for, mm -hmm. for equality of both men and women. Look, last night I did with a client. A man put his wife in the court, domestic violence protection, because she um, <coughs> locked him out of the house, right? And she, she said that he has other women so he's saying that she's lying to him mm -hmm. and she's causing him emotional abuse. He's also, he also put the mother in court because the mother was cleaning chicken and when he come to talk her, she swing wrong and water fall on him. So he, he put her in court for assaulting him by throwing water on him. <laughs> no, you see, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't know what to take No, I do not no, but, uh, I don't think it's funny, but I do No, well, I tell you, that's what I tell you, the act provides for both men and women to have redress, be it psychological, emotional, physical, financial. Michael, f forgive me, eh? forgive my ignorance, but shouldn't the court chase that man? <laughs> it, all right, let, let, let me put it another way. Um, it strengthens the, the, the judicial system when a system can show that there is an equality in, in a law is not biased, right? Right. So it, it gives a plus there. It also allows men to see, and I've had instances mm -hmm. where, I, where men throw out a house and we get them back in the house, mm -hmm. where um, a man can use a system because Errol, the alternative is mm -hmm. a cutlash and a knife and a gun. If, and when we sat, we sat on the domestic violence change legislation, we had people who changed the act, you know. Mm -hmm from three months to one year eviction, exclusion, and from um, one year to three years protection. Or we changed that. 
But we told Kam Kamala Prasad and them, before all you put this to men, make sure that men understand and men appreciate that it can help them too. They didn't do that. And within a matter of weeks, man started to kill women and children. And for, uh, I don't even remember for a certain period in our history. It was a trauma. Because when men are jammed against a wall, they became lions. And lions ready to attack because they have no means of redress. So when an act provides a man, if his wife cussing him or telling him this, that, and the other, you can get redress, fine. Yeah? The court will decide whether it is a justifiable to dismiss it or whether he needs a protection order or not. But there's a history to that, but I just mentioned that lightly because mm -hmm. this is just different. And don't feel like taking it lightly when I say that the magistrate or the, the court the will run the man. Eh? <laughs> but um, I don't know. I feel that, well, it happens on both sides also that in, there are cases where people, they go to the extreme. Yeah. I, I, I feel that, um, that there needs to be some other level before the court with regard to dealing with, with issues like this. A woman turned wrong and he took in water, spill on the man, or, or she took in the water, she had to charge you, and he charged you for assault, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and violence claim because they get locked out. You know, I, yeah, I yeah, don't because know. Because he, he had access to the property. He invested money. Mm -hmm. All right, I was in a school, form trees, last week, Wednesday or whatever. Mm -hmm. 130 students, equal boys, equal girls. Mm -hmm. Tempo going, man. Up. Say, all the boys here who have hit someone they love, two boys put up their hand. Right. All the girls here who have hit someone they love, without any hesitation, about 99% of them put up their hand. The teachers were amazed because girls know, you know, that they lash. Girls know that they try to hurt, right? Boys are a little shy because boys are being taught not to blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But we know boys hurt. And these are the, th you see, Errol, these are the things, when we look at violence against women, we, we, we tell women, we're not only concerned about what men do into all in. We're very concerned about that. I have a daughter, mm -hmm. you know. We are concerned also about what, what you, you're doing to men and what you're doing to women. If in the, in the lesbian and, and, and gay community, same-sex relations have terrible records of abuse, you know. But that is our next, that is our next mm -hmm. program. Okay. Well, I tell you, Michael, I, <laughs> I sit here Bush Bay this morning, <laughs> open-mouthed, dumbfounded, because, not because of the revolution of the violence that is going on out there, but I'm, I'm just wondering if it is that there is thought at all or, or occasion at all to find an intermediary um, organization, institution, I don't know what it is, to help deal with, with the issue of violence. Because, you see, the violence, I mean, you, and you outlined four issues, four areas that can cause violence. But I think violence is also, uh, also about power, you know? And I don't know if that is connected to the um, seeing God as, uh, as male or not or what, but some people just feel they have to have power over somebody. Yeah. Uh, well, all right, uh, what? And they feel they have to Errol. Let us look at rape, right? Every time somebody looks at the issue of rape, they see man's power. They see man's physical strength, man's you know, aggressiveness. They never see that that sexual attraction that woman has, whether it is for love, um, 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 a, a happy release from the man, or whether he just want to do woman something, they never see the power of the woman's body as being so great that this man has to lose all respect for his power and take it out on a woman. They don't see that woman's I power. Can't, I can't yeah, see that you see that? You can't, I can't see, see that, that neither because <laughs> it have no, there's nothing in the world, I think, that gives man the right or, or, or the trigger to... Of course. Take from a woman. But you, you and I have that training and that understanding. We level playing field, Roman brother. What is your body is yours. What is mine is mine. You don't want to share it, keep it. Mm -hmm. Right? We are that level. Mm -hmm. How many men have not come up to realize how powerful their sexual power is? What I have is so precious, brother. If you do feel you can use it, go your way. Mm -hmm. I keep in it. God give it to me. 
to, to beat up your mic too much. <laughs> no, but, but Michael, if, if somebody is not at that level, that isn't uh, a statement on us. Or indictment against the woman either. No, it's a, as a statement on us as men. Why haven't we been the kind of fathers to train our men? Why haven't we learnt, you know, that for ourselves and train our boys? Masturbation is, people talk about um, what they call um, abstinence. Mm -hmm. But there is no greater control over a man's power than masturbation. Once you take that urge from your body, woman could do what they want. You don't rape because you have no power over you. When, you, when your anger is used to develop yourself, mm -hmm. to read, to this, to that, you have power over your anger. When you have to hit somebody, that person controls your anger. If you get me vexed and I hit you, you, have, you, have my, you control my anger, you know, you're the boss. But if you get me vexed and I laugh and I say, blah, 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 I go my way, I have my anger, you ain't have it, I have it. Yeah? And that is the same principle. And that is why what they say is needed. We need what we say a model. We need a model to look at all the facets of dysfunctional behavior. All right? We need men. We need, all right. The majority of vagrants on the, on the street are men. The last count, I had 200 women in prison, 5,000 men. Suicides. I mean, you look at it. Teachers. Female. The majority of things that are happening negatively to the, human ma to, the, to, the, to the human species is happening to men. But women complain about the top set level, the top level of women in power. Two little women at, at, at the senior level. But are these things supposed to be juxtaposed? I mean, if, if women have a vision of what they want for themselves and are making demands for get, to get it, Need that be juxtaposed to That's what is great. happening to me? That's great, Errol. We love that. Mm -hmm. But you, a woman must understand that she makes boy children and women and, and girl children. A woman must understand that she is not living in a world where only she exists. A woman have a father, an uncle, a brother, a son, a grandfather. Mm -hmm. Right? So women, and I'm mean, not talking through my heart. Women have unfortunately been unable to see that men are hurt, men are hurting, and men need to address their needs. And, and our organization is the only organization in the world, well, more or less, two or three others, mm -hmm. men against violence, against women. There is no organization in the world that say women against violence against men or women against violence against women. None. Jesus Christ was the greatest man against violence against women. We love Jesus Christ for that. He died because if he had not died, his mother would have been stoned to death. And he died so that his mother, one of the things, preserved her life. Because at that point, man was hit. And if a woman had sex outside of marriage, stoned to death. So that son chose to die. Right? Michael, unfortunately, we're out of time. Out of time. I'd like to um, continue <laughs> this talk sometime. But um, there it is. We're out of time. Five. Thanks for joining us, my friends. If you're just joining us, Michael is from the organization Men, Men Against Violence Against Women. But we must take our break at this time. Remember, Ababele is joining me next. We've got birthday and anniversary greetings to get out of the way. And tons more. We've also got our country pride recipe winner. And I feel good. So do stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah, and it's done with over nope. 65 years in the hardware business, Najib has done more than just supply you with quality products. We guarantee value for your dollar all the time. Najib, At Najib, Najib, your dream becomes an affordable reality. We're making your home more beautiful. Go by Najib first, Charlotte Street and Eastern Main Road, Lavantil. Najib makes home more beautiful. Many people with diabetes suffer from preventable complications, leg and foot pains, amputations, kidney failure, blindness, sexual dysfunction, heart attack and stroke. If you're at risk, don't suffer needlessly. Get the information and treatment that you need with the care and serious attention that you deserve at the Specialist Diabetic Clinic. Our unique service is a comprehensive approach to diabetes and its complications, helping you to take care of yourself. Call the Specialist Diabetic Clinic at 786-2543 or 668-4931 for an appointment today. The most exciting game in TNT is back! Newsday 2006.
Bingo! Make it your turn to be a winner of fabulous weekly prizes, courtesy Pennywise Cosmetics, Laptop City, Ebony Radio 104 FM, Trinidad Import and Export, and R&R Buyers Mart. That's not all. There's much more to be won in the Newsday Bingo. Three fantastic grand prizes, courtesy Continental Airlines, Parts World, and American Stores. At stake at the super grand prize this year is a Peugeot 307 station wagon, courtesy City Motors. Check Newsday for more details and make it your turn to win big! Can't make up your mind. I feel I always have this problem. I always use Snuggle. Well, I guess I can use this Snuggle. <laughs> Snuggle is a premium brand, very soft and best quality. Yeah, but I've tried all of these so-called high-quality mm. tissues, but it's only the price that's high. Not with Snuggle. Snuggle, you get high-quality and an affordable price. And while you're at it, you should try the other items in their range. What other items? Well, they have, look, they have hand towels, paper napkins, and of course, toilet paper. Well, you know what? I'll try them all. Because you know what they say, no job is finished until the paperwork is done. And with Snuggle, you get softness snuggled in every road. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, it's always good to give, but it's even better to save a life. Come save a life with us. November 18th at the Oasis, be there, 6.30 p.m. For free, Mission Epistle, Shizalon, Broadway Boys International, Isaac Blackman and the Love Circle, Cohen Duncan and Bridge Wright, Gita Dan, JD and Walter Paul, November 18th at the Oasis, be there, 6.30 p.m. Better believe it! Save a life! Be there. I tell you, my friends, welcome back. This is ooh, 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 and I can't find me ooh, 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 recipe that I had from the lady from St. Helena. I'm looking for it as we speak. I too shame. Oh gosh! Aha! Aha! For Dalpuri Roti! That's right. So those stick. Billboard, let's go. Stick. Send your special recipe and win a country pride hamper. Tune into Cockadoodle Do weekday mornings for results. Or email recipes to feedback at guiltv.com. Or even mail or deliver to Guile at 161 Western Main Road, St. James. Remember, do stick. I tell you, my friends, here we are. That pre is submitted by Lucy Badal. And Lucy Badal hails from St. Helena Village in Payaco. So here we go. That pre wrote ingredients for the filling. Five ounces cooked split peas or lentils. You realize you could make that puree with lanty peas? Serious business? A heap teaspoon of ground cumin or curry powder. A small onion chopped. Garlic clove crushed. Salt and pepper. And for the dough, a pound country pride, pride, pride flour. Two teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon salt. Five ounces butter. Seven ounces water. Vegetable oil instruction. Place all the filling ingredients into a food processor and process until mixed, but not pureed. Set aside. Why this feeling familiar like I've read it before? Sift together the flour. I think I've read this recipe before, you know. Sift together the flour, baking powder, and salt into a large mixing bowl. Rub the butter into a flour mixture with your fingertips. I've read this before. Until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. Then slowly add the water and mix to form a dough. Knead well for 10 minutes until smooth and elastic. Then divide into 8 balls. I've read this before. Roll out the dough, the dough balls onto half inch to about half inch thick, then place two or three teaspoons of the dahal mixture in the center of each. Enclose the dahal mixture into the roti dough, form a ball, then gently roll out to about quarter inch thick. Be careful not to brock the roti dough, enclosing the dahal mixture. Brush a large frying pan or flat griddle with plenty of oil, heat until hot. Fry the roti for about three minutes on each side, brushing them with a gentle veg little vegetable oil as it cooks until golden brown and crisp. Removed and drain on paper towels. So that's Lucy Badal, St. Helena Village in Payaco. I tell you, my friends, we are await the arrival of one Neil Batiste, known in Calypso world as a Beverly. But in the meantime, I do continue to take some of your calls. Are you a real man? Are you a real man? And what makes you a real man? We are only hearing from men this morning. Thank you. We are only hearing from our male callers this morning. So do call. We've heard from quite a few men so far for the morning. And I know that a Beverly is perilously close. He's put on his guitar as we speak and yesterday was international men's day for the rest of the world 
Today is International Men's Day in the Gael. All right? And I have my little thing from Project Anthropocene. I wanted to share a little bit with you. I'm properly all over the place with my paper this morning. Eh? That's what I get for not having Magella here. Oops, did I say that? Okay. Uh, Project Anthropos is a registered non-profit. Hello, good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. A true man is a man who minds his kids and his children and makes sure that they grow to be big children. Aha. Uh -huh. And when you say mind them, that means making sure they have the money and thing. Maintenance, fatherhood is important. A hmm? father always supposed to be there for his children. And are you a father, sir? Of course I am. Are you a real man? Sure I am. Just right. Thank you very much for calling, sir. All right, yeah. Just right. We continue to take your calls, my friends. Only men to call into our program this morning. It's International Men's Day. Yesterday, the rest of the world celebrated it. Today, we celebrate it in Gael. And um, we keep hearing about responsibility, about mining children, about fathering. And um, I wonder what about, we had one caller call in and talk about a spiritual component also. But what does it mean to you? Whatever it means to you, it means to you. But call and let me know. What does it mean to you to be a father, to be a real man? Are you a real man? Hmm. So I'm telling you, and Anthropos is a registered non-profit organization non-governmental NGO. This project is a response to problems of academic underachievement, drug abuse, criminality, violence, and indiscipline among vulnerable males in Trinidad and Tobago. It draws on common moral principles shared by the diverse ethnic communities of Trinidad and Tobago. And as part of their ongoing anti-crime initiative, um, they visited the YTC yesterday. You know, and during the Christmas season, um, they tend to have a cultural program at different um, locations, including the one yesterday at YTC. Um, program would involve external performers as well as youth from the facility. Come right ahead, sir. Um, this, with this in mind, they ask your support always. They ask your continued support. Um, whenever you can plug into Anthropos, you could contact them, let them know that you are a trained professional or that you have funds to assist them with and you can visit them at http colon slash 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 project anthropos dot tripod dot com that's project anthropos dot tripod dot com that's their website or you can call michael at six eight one three three eight seven that's six eight one three three eight seven did i call donald michael i think i did you know so Donald was our last guest. Michael was the guest before that. And you can contact Michael for Project Anthropos at 681-3387 or contact Ivan Nicholas at 707-5055. That's 707-5055. That's Project Anthropos. Right now, my friends, it's time to rock and roll with birthday greetings. Abibili, how are you doing? Not too bad. What? You have a book? Where all the loose paper and things that gone? So where, who we have greetings for today? Well, from for the golden, the golden. This is all the birthday we have today. No, you're not so fortunate. All that. But it's much easier than usual. Okay, and who's no wonderful? Uh, Morse code is this? Um, I haven't been able to translate <laughs> as yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> but I realize it's for Felix Raffello. This is birthday. Yeah, from and wife Lillian Child, Marlene and um, Lauren, it looked like. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, I hope all the dreams come true. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, well, now it's pressure for so. Uh -huh. This one goes to Felix Ravello. Uh -huh. From wife Lily and child Marlene and Lauren. And grand, my eyes look like. 
I telling you, I be believing you is a boss. But to me this morning it sound like you're a little horse. I will tell you, play your guitar, don't play no flute, no sir. If you was a dream little donkey, you wouldn't be a brute. I don't understand what you're trying to do. Uh -huh. Yes, I agree that the horse for true. Tell them, tell them, tell them. This one going straight to Daniel Bagu. Uh -huh. From Liz and Luke and the rest of the family, all of that come true on the beach. I tell them, you partner, don't get that, don't get in no rage. Look carefully, I will be there and I turn the page. I not expecting to get an attack. As I send greetings out from the husband and family to a lady called Shirley Nizak. Well, you notice my shirt have some black. Uh -huh. The greeting went out to Shirley Nizak. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Because they have no bubble. The greeting come from Shirley husband and all. Well, I baby, hear what I telling you. Don't feel a lie, partner, cause what I say is true. I really under some problems today. With that voice you have, I can understand all that you have to say. Just a little horse that could cut. I realize you're trying to put me on this spot. I tell them, tell them, tell them. I show you realize now as a matter of fact. Once I sing the voice, going to come back. I tell a new partner that is real good to hear. Cause if it do come back, I will have a fear. So partner, if singing is what will bring it back here. Sing your tuna, baby, they sing, 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 so we could all hear. Hey, feel it's rather low, I hear. Uh -huh. Well, it's a birdie for another year. I tell them, tell them, tell them. While all this thing just going wild. Uh -huh. It's from your wife Lily and Marlene and Lauren and your grandchild. So we all sing. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, I hope all the dreams come true. One more. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hope all your dreams come, 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 come. come. I tell you, just right, we have two anniversaries. Looking like that. Yeah, but we must take a break first. When we come back, we'll deal with those two anniversaries, my friends. Don't go a place. We will be right back. What a flu. Yeah, I know what you mean. You don't have the flu? Oh, yes, I do. I did yesterday, but I took Panadol Multi-Symptom. There is nothing better than Panadol Multi-Symptom to get rid of all the symptoms of the worst cold. Take Panadol Multi-Symptom and get on with your day. 2001 Carpet House Limited introduces you to a wide assortment of carpets and rugs. We feature an array of colors and pattern designs to satisfy your taste, from conservative to contemporary. 2001 Carpet House is the largest supplier of carpets, from heavy-duty cushioned vinyl, laminate flooring, and tiles to deco panel ceilings to enhance your living and working environment. From the homemaker to the interior designer, visit us at conveniently located outlets 5 Manic Street in Chaguanas and 183 Eastern Main Road in Tunapuna. I tell you, my friends, welcome back. We get ready to dive into our anniversary song. And we've got two couples to serenade this morning. One more year testing each other's patience. Admit it. We did it. One more year testing each other's endurance. It was hard, but we ain't do too bad. All who never thought we'd have come this far All who thought we'd have buckled under the pressure 
Now they just leave them right there to wonder, proving that love could grow stronger and stronger, showing that we could stay together forever. Gordon and Galata must well know, no, I just can't fuss. Facing tears, plenty fears. I don't know just how many years. Only one thing that I can say from your two children, Alistair and Andre. I know this one could be a different plea, but the thing that everybody have to say, you see. All they wish you is a happy anniversary Completely A baby partner Do all this greeting It's for Shirley and Arnold I telling you they managed to keep their wedding on track Happy anniversary Mr. and Mrs. Nayak I tell you marriage is a thing have dividends that could cause bliss But surely and I know you have to pay the interest From your niece and nephew and also your brother in true And he was greetings come and pile up high for you And they want you stay together for plenty more years in true And for you Well this one is a And I know the greetings coming from your old family, nephews and nieces, sisters, brother in laws, you see. Because now they realize just what it means when the anniversary reached number 18. I am sure that you will agree. You can now start on this journey. I'm sure your family will agree with me. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. Well, my friends, I tried very hard to give you a bit of that Samantha Peer interview with regard to uh, our storytelling project, you know, uh, what's on, but we're going to give you some of it now for I Feel Good. So here we go as we chat, Magella chats with Samantha Peer. It's our I Feel Good billboard. Wow! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. I knew that I would not. So good, so good, I got a year. Why the Blue Hole is Blue by Giselle Fonsaka, age eight. Long ago, when Belize was first settled, the Blue Hole as we know it today wasn't called the Blue Hole. It was referred to as the White Waters of Belize because the water was so clear that you could see at the bottom without even looking hard. One busy morning on the planet Neptune, the Neptunians were all working on a new project their government had just built. The government built a town zoo. The zoo was filled with many different species of humans. They were all shapes and sizes and colors. It was quite an amusement for them. The following week, the building was completed and only needed a nice paint job. So the government called the entire town and asked for some volunteers to help, build, to help paint the building because it was very large. Spuznik and his brother Kiplok decided to volunteer to paint because, as we said, the building was very large. And they fancied the humans and loved watching them do all sorts of neat tricks. They were each given an automatic rolling paintbrush and a bucket of blazing blue paint. 
they set the automatic brushes and turned them on and watched them roll up and down the building as they painted the building blue. When the timers went off, Spuznik and Keep Clock were fast asleep, dreaming about the zoo. Suddenly, the paint brushes, suddenly the paint brushes began to make a loud crackling noise and exploded, and there was paint everywhere. The explosion was so big that the paint flew all the way to Earth and landed in the white waters of Belize. Since Neptunian paint was so thick and strong, the paint mixed into the water, and then the waters of Belize became blue. The power, the power of storytelling. <laughs> I almost felt like I wanted to play. I tell you, my friends, there's some manta pier there giving us a story. You know, I feel good. Magella goes on to chat with her, but we're going to have to give you that um, chat another time. Just to remind you that um, Samantha Pier is involved in this project called Storytelling for Early Childhood Parenting Support Steps. And they do have an uh, office at the, creative, uh, the Center for Creative and Festival Arts at the University of the West Indies, the St. Augustine campus that is right here in TNT. So if you're interested in getting more information on that, you can contact Samantha Pay there, okay? So my friends, on that note, um, we're perilously close to wrapping up time, but I must ask a baby lady big question this morning. Are you a real man, sir? That's insulting. No, I want to know because That's I want insulting. to know how you define yourself as a real man. Well, my children could answer your friend because it's them I have to fend. No, no, you what to see. Asking that question to have a belly because there's proof to see. Come home and check the family. And if you have any doubts about me, come along, you're bound to see Man for spite To get it right To show that manhood is boss You notice that my voice no longer hoarse Man for spite <laughs> To get it right Now what is a simple statement They say many men are delinquent But somehow you must agree when you are a daddy, there's a lot of responsibility to all the big names. How you going to keep your family? Cash guy, if you show your man what you see, man for spite. Just to make the whole thing right, man for spite. That's the ladies' delight, man for spite. I tell you, my friends, on that note, we start our wrap up this morning. We thank the folks in Grenada at Cable Vision and in Trinidad at Columbus Communication for ensuring that people who subscribe to your wonderful service can, in fact, enjoy our incredible programming. We also thank Jump TV and Home View TNT for streaming us internationally on the World Wide Web. We thank our guests this morning, Michael Augustus, and of course, Donald. I don't remember his surname right now. Beaumont, Donald Beaumont, for dropping in with us and chatting with us with regard to Giles' observance today of International Men's Day. We thank Exotic Silver for giving Magella her bling. And of course, the good folks, the good folks at Country Pride and Cricks, people who ensure that we are here every single morning. This is. <laughs> Up next, we've got Paolo Kernahan with the news update at 8. And then beyond that, we've got obituaries and tons more. So do stay with us. And remember, being a father, being a man, a real man, it isn't only about fathering. It's about partnering. It's about how you treat your significant other and your community. Just right, my friends. Do have a great day. And do stay with us as we get through the day. Gaia. We TV G A Y E L L Gaia The People TV Well, Errol Boy, that seems to be a ploy. Plenty does look like man, but they are little boys. Somehow, to me, that do seem right. Like some people buy white and have a plight. I'm telling you, 
Rockabilly, I hear you. Some play in man, but them is money cool. I tell you, this is no joke. Being a man, have plenty, plenty hard work. Well, well, you see, it's a true statement. Some fathers are truly delinquent. But there's something that just don't stick. You have to handle affairs that are domestic. I baby lay this, I must stay. To the good fathers we want to celebrate. And I say, it is going. Those who keep doing what you're doing, doing, doing. But you see, you have to buff some men. Buff them. Who are simply not gentlemen. Yes. Who keep assaulting the women. Even sometimes straight in front of the little children. We don't condone that behavior. Boy, you need to check your savior. Violence against any human being. We not taking that. Is that what we preaching? Now there's a story that we have to tell. Come get some counseling here on Gael. Not to say we causing any trouble. We have people here as far as they could be role models on G-A-Y-E. Gael, we TV, G A Y E L L. Gael, the people TV, G A Y E L L. Hello, I'm Paul. And I'm Nikki, and welcome. Welcome to the Paul and Nikki Show. This is an invitation for you to call and register your team. Mm -hmm. If you want to come down and play with us on Friday, because you know every Friday on the Paul and Nikki Show, it's Games Friday, and we play Pictionary. Now, as much as the whole world wore two points, if we get half, we get a one? No. Give us a call, 628-2937, and ask for a Yes, and register your team, because it's happening right here on the Gael every Friday. We look forward to hearing from you. Come down and play with us. The Paul and the Nikki. And the, and the Nikki. We call and the Nikki. You see, you see. You know, it should be the Nikki and the Paul, you don't find. No. What would them do? Oh, Paul and the Paul. Oh, Paul and the Paul. 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 Paul and the Paul